All right, so I read this review online about the best kept secret in Chilliwack, and apparently it's Elk Mountain. I've never been, but man, this entire spot here is gorgeous. Like, I feel like I'm in the Alps or something. So I'm super stoked to check this hike out. All right, this is the beginning of the trail. I don't know how long it's gonna take, so I'm gonna time it. It's 12.30 right now, and let's do this. So this is the Elk Mountain Trailhead in Chilliwack, British Columbia. Yes, Chilliwack, BC. This is seriously one of the best kept secrets in the Fraser Valley. To date, this has to be one of my favorite hikes I've done. If this hike was closer to Vancouver, or along the Sea to Sky Highway towards Whistler, BC, it would be packed all year around. But because it's out in Chilliwack, it was relatively dead considering it was a Sunday afternoon in May. This is starting to look like a horror movie. There's literally no one here. There's tons of cars in the parking lot, but I haven't seen anyone here. <laughs> okay, so we did run into a few people along the way. The beginning of the hike is relatively easy as you gradually see an elevation gain while you hike your way through the west coast rainforest. As you can see there's a road halfway up the trail so you can park here if you wanted to save time. Alright so we're half an hour into this hike and there's a road up here you can park up here so that's an option. I'm starting from the bottom though because I'm a true hiker. <laughs> the one thing I noticed about this hike is because you start at a fairly high elevation, you feel it. I kept thinking we were close to the top the entire time. Alright, so we're an hour into the hike and we found this little viewpoint. We're not at the top yet, but it's absolutely amazing. I'm right on the cliff so I'm a little scared, but yeah, it's gorgeous. You can just see how high up we are already. From here we got some amazing views of the Trans-Canada Highway and the Chilliwack region. After you pass this viewpoint, the trail gets a lot more steeper. So bring lots of water. I feel like this is definitely a spring and summer hiking trail. If it's raining and slippery, it would be a lot more challenging considering how steep the trail can get. So it took us just under two hours to reach the first peak. The first viewpoint was stunning. This entire hike, I felt like I was in Switzerland. You have this rocky cliff, steep winding stairs, and it was a great location for lunch. We must have spent an hour here just admiring the view. There were a few people here, but it wasn't nearly as busy as it should have been. Like, I'm still in shock at such an incredible hike this is, and I've never done it before. It's absolutely insane. You definitely have to check it out. Off to the next viewpoint. So yes, you can keep going, and I definitely recommend it. Although I personally like the first viewpoint, the journey to the second viewpoint was spectacular. You pretty much walk along the top of the mountain range. Just amazing views the entire time. We stopped so many times just to take it all in, and every turn was another opportunity to take more pictures. There are washrooms on your journey to the second viewpoint, and quite a few spots where you can see people camped. Not sure if it's allowed, but I don't blame them. Alright, so we're about two hours past the last viewpoint, and we've been really taking our time. I think we're at the second one and we are so far up. The cliff I'm standing on, just like I'm right at the edge here, it's so steep down, I'm honestly scared. Just, just check this out. So it turns out that wasn't the second viewpoint. We kept going and even in the middle of May, there was still snow on Elk Mountain. I have a feeling by early June, the majority of the snow will be gone.
All right, this is the second viewpoint. I'm not sure how many more there are, but I'm not gonna do any more. Uh, there's no one here. We barely seen anyone. The snow back here made it really difficult of a hike, but I think it'd be gone if you came in during summertime. So there's that. Anyways, we're gonna head on back and see what else we're doing in Chilliwack. All right, we're finally back. It took us seven hours to do it all. We started down here wandered all the way up the first viewpoint of like Chilliwack that I showed you the second one is the main lookout spot I think that's the one we spent a lot of time had had lunch and everything like that we walked all the way over here to the second viewpoint and we missed this little area up here I guess another small lookout that's it we're the only cars in the parking lot <laughs> so let's get out of here Look at this place, it's dead. All right, so we found a Thai place, one of the cheapest ones we could find online. <laughs> Tons of parking around here. I hope it's good. All right, so the food ended up being pretty good. For $12, the portions are huge. And you know what? People showed up, so it's not going out of business. And I want to thank you for watching, like the video, and there's one thing I've been thinking about for the last few hours. Anyways.